Okay, the greatest common divisor for the value 12, it will be 6. Let's make it 5, it will be 1. 1 is the biggest one, then that can go into 5, except for 5 himself. Let's test the value 13, it's also 1. 14 will be 7. How do we calculate that? Okay, so what I did is I made two integer variables. Um, one is IGCD and the other one's INUM. I put whatever the guy typed into the edit bundle text into INUM. Then I run with a for loop from one to that number, let's say the example was 12, 12 minus 1, because I don't want to test 12 itself, itself. Okay, so I'm going to say, if 12 mod 1 is equals to 0, remember mod will give the remainder. Okay, so 12 mod 1 is equals to 0, then um, uh, I is equals to the greatest common divisor. So I don't want to test it for the value itself, that's why I said minus 1. And it's going to start with 1, and then it's going to say yes, 1 is the greatest common divisor. Then I will be 2, so then it will test the, the number 2. So 2, yes, 2, uh, 12 mod 2 is equals to 0. So then 2 will be the, mo the greatest common divisor. Then I will become 3. It will test 3. Yes, 3 also goes into 12. And there's no remainder. So uh, I, greatest common divider, divisor, will become 3. We'll move to 4. I will be 4. 4 will also go in. 5 will not. 6 will go in. So 6 will be the biggest one then. Then 7, no, 8, no, 9, no, 10, no, 11, no, and it will not test 12 because I said I num minus 1, so it's 12 minus 1. So the biggest one that will, will remain is 6, and then I display the value 6 into the label 1.caption. So 12, 6, 12, 6, 12.